dairy foods are all made from milk. So if we start with milk, um, milk is one of the most complete foods that we have available to us. It provides um, important amounts of protein and all the, uh, the essential amino acids that we need for growth. Um, and it provides quite a range of different vitamins and minerals. Um, the most abundant of these is uh, calcium, and we get approaching half of our calcium from milk and milk products. Um, there's also important amounts of zinc, which is another mineral, and of some of the um, vitamins, in particular uh, vitamin B12, which we need for healthy blood, um, and vitamin B2, or riboflavin, which we need to help us make the most of the energy in our food. As people know, uh, you get different types of milk these days. So you can have whole milk where you've got about 4% of that, 4 grams per 100 grams of that is fat. Um, people often think it's a lot more than that, it, it is only 4% of it that's fat. But we also have um, semi-skim milk which is less than 2% fat, 1% uh, milk which is now in, available in some supermarkets which is uh, even lower still, and then skim milk. So for people who need to watch their weight or uh, cut down on their fat intake, then there are a number of options in the range of milks for them. They can choose the ones that are best for them. So if we then move on to cheese, um, cheese has got a lot of the nutrients that are, that are in milk. In fact, most of the nutrients that are in milk. And because it's a concentrated form of milk, it's got weight for weight a lot more calcium. Um, it's also got the protein, but of course it's also got more fat per 100 grams because it's concentrated. The water, if you like, that's in milk has been taken out. But having said that, as with milk, there are different types of cheese available. So we have um, the hard cheeses like cheddar and those, those sorts of cheeses, and then softer cheeses which tend to be lower in fat. Um, brie would be an example. And then also cheeses like cottage cheese and the low fat cheeses. So again, um, depending on whether people want to watch their weight or um, watch their fat intake, there are lots of different types of cheese available for them to choose from. So turn to yogurt. Yogurt again is made from milk. So we benefit from the protein, the calcium and the, the vitamins that I mentioned. And um, again, different fat contents available. There are also um, different probiotic yogurts available now and there is interest in the potential health properties of some of these products. Um, so again, uh, that broadens the range available. Um, generally speaking, these, these foods can make a really good contribution to our intake of a range of different nutrients.